And this is home to the UK government. Number 10 is where the Prime Minister lives and works. But very soon we will have a new Prime Minister. And that's because yesterday Boris Johnson announced that he's going to step down as leader of the Conservative Party. The day started with uncertainty. Would the UK's Prime Minister Boris Johnson stand down? After days of pressure from ministers calling on him to do the right thing and quit. By lunchtime, a decision had been made. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. It, thank you, thank you. It is clearly now the will of the Parliamentary Conservative Party that there should be a new leader of that party and therefore a new Prime Minister. I want to thank you, the British public, for the immense privilege that you have given me. So there you have it. Boris Johnson announces his resignation as he heads back into number 10 Downing Street. There were cheers and there were some boos as well from the crowds that have gathered outside here in Westminster. Now we have to find out what happens next. How did we get to this point? Well, there's been an awful lot of drama around here over the last couple of days, but the reason why this has happened really boils down to just one thing. Many people on Boris Johnson's team, the Conservative Party, say he wasn't doing his job properly. And that's really one of the biggest problems. They've been looking at everything that's happened during his time as Prime Minister, including some of those parties that took place here at Downing Street. And they say it was just time for him to go. And also honesty was key to lots of them. They said many times Boris Johnson just wasn't truthful enough. It's certainly been an eventful week on Downing Street. Well, so many questions from you at home and you've been sending them into the Newsround website and we're very lucky to be joined by Nick Erdley. Now, you're extremely busy. You're a political correspondent for the BBC. Uh, would you be able to answer this first one? It's from Blue Flying Fox. Uh, they want to know what will happen until a new Prime Minister is chosen, Nick. You'll still see Boris Johnson. He'll still be Prime Minister, but there probably won't be that much going on. Some of the big rows we've seen in the last few weeks over what Boris Johnson actually does are likely to go away because I don't think he's going to try and do all that much over the next few weeks okay. apart from a bit of a farewell tour. All right, what about to Annabelle? She wants to know, why has Boris not left sooner? A lot of kids have got that question. Some Conservative MPs want him to go right now. Um, the simple answer is that you need a Prime Minister. You need somebody in Downing Street making the big decisions and dealing with day-to-day -day stuff. So he's staying to do that. And I think he'll probably be there until after the summer holidays, round about when everyone goes back to school. So we can't say exactly when he will go? Not for sure. The rules for that will be set on Monday. OK, so next week. How will they decide a new leader for the Conservative Party? That's from Feathery Earth Friend. It's quite complicated, actually. There are a lot of people want to be Prime Minister. The Conservative Party will decide who it wants to be the last two. Okay. And then Conservative members across the country will get a vote on that. And the last one here is from Cookie XOXO. Will there be an election for a new Prime Minister? Of Conservative members, right. but not a general election. OK. Nick, uh, just before we go, everyone here is so smart wearing suits, but I wanted to show you at home, because they're so busy running between Westminster here at Downing Street, uh, I wanted to show your shoes, your trainers that you've got on. We've both got trainers we've on. We've both got trainers it's on. It's more comfy. But so many reporters around here obviously are standing on their feet all day. Uh, you've obviously got to have trainers We try on. and look glamorous in the top <laughs> and then wear our trainers. And then yesterday, when the Prime Minister was actually announcing he was resigning, you should have seen it everyone was lying on the floor because you had to get out of the way. I did. I saw cameras. lots of reporters sitting on the pavement. Were you lying down as well? I was. Nick, thank you so much for talking to us and thank you for your questions at home as well. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Ricky. Well, as always, we'll be keeping you up to date with everything happening at Downland Street over on the Newsroom website.